learn them. That's why I have started with unit 10 hello games and hello elves. Now, what are hello elves?
complete with halogen atom. This is secondary alkyl halide. In third one is tertiary alkyl halide. Three alkyl groups are attached to that carbon atom which contains halogen atom. So by this carbon we decide whether it is primary, secondary or tertiary to which halogen atom is attached. Again I am repeating because this is very conceptual one. If your concept is clear then you are able to solve reasoning question based on these. Primary only one alkyl group is attached to that carbon atom which is bonded with halogen atom. Two alkyl groups are attached to that carbon atom which is bonded with halogen atom. Three alkyl groups are attached to that carbon atom which is bonded to halogen atoms. Yes, next class includes allylic halide. So many one marks question are asked by board exam every year from this portion. So your concept should be clear. Now what is allylic halide? When halogen atom is bonded to that carbon atom in a compound which is attached to one of the carbon atom of double bond which is doubly bonded. This is first carbon atom, this is the second carbon atom. These both are bonded with double bond. Adjacent to this, this is third carbon atom and when halogen is attached to this carbon atom, this condition is called allylic halide and the compound is called allylic halide. And these two carbon atoms are called allylic carbon. We have seen in cyclo compounds also, this is first carbon atom, this is second carbon atom and adjacent to this, this carbon third carbon atom, if halogen is attached to this carbon atom, this condition is known as allylic halide and the compound is allylic halide. Now, next classification is benzylic halide. Here also, in allylic halide also, halogen is attached to sp3 hybridized. See here, this is single bond. This is not directly attached to this double bond. That's why it is sp3 hybridized. Now, next type is benzylic halide. In benzylic halide compounds, halogen is attached to that carbon atom which is directly attached to benzene ring. This is benzene ring, one of the carbon of benzene ring. To that one carbon is attached and to that halogen is bonded. This condition is known as benzylic halide. Now next classification is classification based on the compounds containing sp2 cx this class include first type vinylic halides. These are the compounds in which halogen atom is attached to that carbon atom which is doubly bonded. See here this is carbon, one carbon, this is second carbon and to one of any one of the carbon if halogen is attached it is this condition is known as vinylic condition and the compound is vinylic halide. Similarly in cyclo compound, this is first carbon, this is second carbon and both carbons are double bonded and to directly to any one of the carbon, halogen is added. So this type of compound is known as vinylic halides. Now next is aryl halide. In these compounds, halogen is attached to, directly attached to any one of the carbon of benzene ring. See, this is halogen attached to, directly attached to the carbon of benzene ring. This is halogen attached to the benzene ring. So, this type of compounds are called aryl halides. Our next topic is nomenclature of haloalkanes and haloalkanes. Nomenclature we have studied in detail in 11 class. If question will ask from this section, it will come up only one marks in objective or any 
assertion is done or anything any type of question so now my teacher firstly you will count the carbon atom 1 2 3 4 3 propane is there all are singly bonded bromine is uh, bromo atom is attached to first carbon atom so the name is 1 bromo propane name of this compound three carbon atoms means propane and second to the second uh, carbon atom cl is bonded so this is two chloro propane and in aryl compounds this is bromo benzene this is 1 2 3 so 1 3 di bromo benzene this is 1 4 
than CL. But if we see the bond length, distance is also counted in double moment. If we see the bond length, the bond length is more of CL. That's why dipole moment is more of CL3Cl than CL3F. So due to polarity of CL's bond, what properties we have seen here? First one is strength of CX bond. Second one is dipole moment. So by getting this idea we can solve so many reasoning questions of the chapter. Now it is time for homework. Make one fair register of more than 200 pages and do this homework and I will check it later on. Example 10.1 and 10.2 of your NCERT book. And in text question 10.1 of NCERT book. Next.